Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on engineering mathematics. In this video, we are going to learn LU factorization of any square matrix. Let us first see the points that I am going to cover in this video. First, we will see introduction to factorization of a matrix. Then we will see introduction to LU factorization. Next, we will see steps involved in finding LU factorization. Then we will see examples based on this. So let us proceed with introduction to factorization of a matrix. Matrix factorization is a process of breaking down a given matrix into a product of two or more simpler matrices. This is often done to simplify matrix operations and solve problems in linear algebra optimization and data analysis. Matrix factorization reduces computational complexity improves numerical stability in calculations and aids in efficiently solving problems in science, engineering and data analysis. Now let us see introduction to LU factorization. LU factorization is a matrix decomposition technique where a square matrix A is expressed as product of lower triangular matrix L and an upper triangular matrix U. That is A is written as L into U. The lower triangular matrix L has ones on its diagonal, while U is only an upper triangular matrix. LU factorization is widely used in computational methods for solving system of equations of the type AX is equal to B, especially in engineering and scientific simulations where matrix operations are frequent. Now let us understand steps involved in LU factorization. First, we reduce the square matrix A to row echelon form using Gauss elimination method with the help of elementary row transformations. The matrix so obtained is called as U. L is the lower triangular matrix with all ones in the diagonal. The remaining elements are the multiplier coefficients because of which the respective position becomes zero in the U matrix. Note that you should always use minus sign in the transformations performed. That is, for plus sign, use minus of minus sign. For example, if your transformation is R3 plus R1, then you should write it as R3 minus minus R1. So we are replacing this plus sign with minus into minus. Now let us understand this with the help of example. In this question, we are asked to find LU decomposition of the given matrix A. Let us proceed for the solution. First, we reduce matrix A to row echelon form using Gauss elimination method. For that, we are going to use elementary row transformations. First, I am going to use R2 is equal to R2 minus 4 times R1 transformation. This will reduce this element 4 to 0. Then I will use R3 is equal to R3 minus 3 times R1. This will reduce this element to 0. Let us perform this on matrix A. Now matrix A is equivalent to this new matrix. Since there are no changes in R1, R1 will remain same. R2 minus 4 R1 will give us 0 here. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. Minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5. Now let us do R3 minus 3 times R1. 3 minus 3 is 0, 5 minus 3 is 2, and 3 minus 3 is 0. Next, we will perform transformation R3 is equal to R3 plus 2 times R2. This will reduce this element to 0. But as I mentioned earlier, we should replace all plus sign in the transformation with minus into minus sign. So this transformation I will write as R3 minus minus 2 times R2. So the equivalent matrix now will be this. Here we are performing R3 plus 2 times R2. So 2 plus 2 times minus 1 is 0. 0 plus 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. See that this matrix is in row echelon form. So we will stop the process of reduction. This matrix so obtained is matrix U. Now we will obtain matrix L. We know that 
the diagonal entries of matrix L are all 1 and the remaining entries are the coefficients of transformations used in the reduction. So let us obtain L. Here is the required L. You can clearly see that this is lower triangular matrix and in it all the diagonal entries are all 1. This entry is coming from first row transformation. This entry comes from this row transformation because this row transformation help us to reduce this element or this position to 0. So this coefficient 4 goes here. This 3 comes from this row transformation because this row transformation help us to reduce this entry or this position to 0. So this coefficient 3 goes over here. Finally, this entry comes from this row transformation because this row transformation help us to reduce this entry or this position to 0. Here coefficient is minus 2, so this minus 2 goes over here. I hope guys you understood how to obtain U and L matrices in LU decomposition of any given square matrix. So finally, we can now write A is equal to L into U. I hope you understood this factorization. Now let us see some more examples. Here is the second example. Here also we have to find out LU decomposition of the given matrix A. Let us proceed for solution. We first reduce this given matrix A to row echelon form using Gauss elimination technique. First I will perform transformations R2 is equal to R2 minus 3 times R1 and R3 is equal to R3 minus R1. These two transformations will help us to reduce this and this entry to 0. So we get this equivalent matrix. Now we reduce this element to 0 by using transformation R3 is equal to R3 minus 4 times R2. So this is new equivalent matrix. Observe that this is in row echelon form. So this is our required upper triangular matrix U. Now we obtain the required lower triangular matrix L. We know that the lower triangular matrix L have all diagonal entries 1 and the remaining entries are obtained from the coefficients of the transformations used. So here coefficients are 3, 1 and 4. We will put them over here. 3, 1 and 4. So this is our required lower triangular matrix L such that A is equal to L into U. Now let us proceed for last example. Here we have to find out LU decomposition of this given matrix A. As usual, we will reduce this matrix to row echelon form using Gauss elimination method. First I will use transformations R2 is equal to R2 minus 4 times R1 and R3 is equal to R3 minus 7 times R1. So this is the new equivalent matrix. See that this is already in row echelon form. We don't need to further reduce this. So we will keep it as it is and we will say this is our required upper triangular matrix U. Now we obtain the lower triangular matrix L. We know L matrix has diagonal entries 1 and it is a lower triangular matrix with remaining entries coming from the transformations. The required coefficients are 4, 7. I will put them over here and since this position is already 0, we haven't used any transformation to make it 0. So we will keep it 0 as it is. When you calculate L into U, you will see it is equal to matrix A. I hope guys you understood all of these examples. Now it is your turn to solve some examples. These are a couple of examples for which you have to find out LU decomposition. Their final solution is also given here so that you can tally your answers. Guys, please write me in comment box whether you understood all these examples, whether you got these solutions or not. Please also write me how much useful this video is for you. Till I publish my next video, you keep watching my videos, keep practicing these examples. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel 
and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.